Oh, na, 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 napa ganito. Oh, oh, napa oh. ganon eh. Yeah, well, like excited lang naman ako dun sa pick dun ng Bell dito ni Arves as this gonna be uh, one of the tool nila dito to be able to disengage dito. Yung Veil, especially kapag in-upgrade mo yung kanyang skill na pwedeng, pwedeng damage, pwedeng AOE eh. Mm -hmm. So yeah, with this, ladies and gentlemen, game number two, can team work? Make the dream work once again? O tuluyan na bang? I-extend ng LPE ito para sa game number three. LPE holding on para sa kanilang unang buhay nitong ating game. Let's look at the lanes right now, Rob Luna. Yes, in terms of the laning phase natin dito, Manjin, uh, masasabi ko lang mas mabilis yung magiging rotation dito for the side. Uh, tingin ko LPE, sila yung mas, ano, eh, mas magiging aggressive dito since Bimo will be the using his show uh -huh. uh, in terms of providing vision dito. Pero kasi ito si Arvs dito, itong veil na to, I'm actually trying to point it out. Maghihintay lang yan dito ng level 4. He doesn't really need to do rotations. Mas magiging mabilis yon on the far side. Pero ang magiging maganda lang dito sa LPE is that yung side lanes nila dito are both mages. Esmeralda could be able to win stand against dito sa Lapu-Lapu and even yung Hariton on the tops. Ang gusto mangyari dito, especially with the Lapu-Lapu and of course the Alice, mukhang mainit ang magiging laban. Mukhang natuto nga ang LPE doon sa draft nila on game number one. And let's see kung paano drive ni Bimo itong game as he will be going into the jungle. Namula nga siya kagad dito, of course. Michael Jordan hitting him down, flickering in, but one shield was enough. Para dito kay Bimo, nakawala ng flicker dito si Michael Jordan. At ayon, Trinipol team, bigla si Michael as LPE will take that first blood. Nice bait para kay Bimo dito. Definitely nice bait. And just a lick of time talaga. Sobrang isang normal na lang yon man, Jane. Uh -huh. With that Sunpo shield, yun yung uh, nagbuhay talaga sa, sa kanya doon. Regardless na makatakas doon yung Farsa, the Mountain Shocker was also available. So, yeah, it's a good attempt coming from the Farsa, kaso it wasn't good enough. Pero dito, Jobert lang sa Kalam will yeah. be able to get away with the ult here going doon sa may turtle. Now, ito kasi ang setup ngayon ng work. It's uh -huh. almost the same din naman during game number one. They are mid-game dominance. Uh -huh. So, up until this point, they're just holding on. It's all about LPE. Sila talaga ang kailangang sumapak dito early on as look at Riotas positioning dito uh -huh. mukhang uh, sumasapak na nga si Riota dito of course with the falling star moon but that is a burst down ng bumula kay Michael Jordan doon sa gilid as team LPE they're backing off pero nandito si Jake the dog Zaman Force is not yet popped pero mukhang turtle ang magiging uh, main target for both of the teams Rotations coming in, Rob Luna. Teamwork actually bigla na lang naging lima dito sa ating laban. There you go, the Zaman Force plus the Mountain Chaka. But the turtle will go in the hands of Michael Jordan. Meanwhile, makakuha pa rin ng isang kill. Dito si Jake the Dog comes in with the Synchro Vision. Nice dodge mula kay Kuya Jobert. Jobert, tumatakbo, but Bimo was there to get the knock up. And mukang naging magulo yung laban ng dalawang teams dito. Michael Jordan is the only one alive. Meron pa siyang extra shield na pwedeng mag-prop mamaya. With, of course, the turtle. Pero that was it. Turtle para sa teamwork. Pero magiging tabla ang amount of kills para dito sa first three minutes ang ating laban. Oh my. Uh, going back here, baka may pick-off na naman dito from teamwork. Pero balikan natin, Manjin, what actually happened during the lore. Uh, rather, the turtle, turtle pit. So, ang nangyari doon is na pick-off kagad doon si Arms. Ay, masasabi ko dito, Manjin, nagkamali siya dito ng pagkuha ng skills niya in terms of ordering. Kasi mm -hmm. whenever you go for the order, dapat level 2. Uh, whenever pag level 3 mo sa bail, dapat skill mo yung skill 2. Rather, yung wind blow mo, yung ile-level mo, para pag level 4 mo, meron ka kagad knock-up, meron ka ding ulti at the same time. Kasi pag pinili mo yung wind blade, uh -huh. wala kang knock-up. Nakita natin yun doon. One of the reason bakit hindi na na-pick off yung Farsa doon. And Farsa is also the key dito sa work kung bakit na-pick off kagad dito. Oh. Si Those were uh, minimal mistake, pero naging malaki yung naging resulta doon on the overall team performance. Small details, Rob Luna. Small details can cost you big things as teamwork will punish that out and they will actually probably get this free uh, mid tower at mukhang napamali pa nga ng pasok si Bimo instant shadow kill para dito side and teamwork even though Aspic will get that extra kill nice slam dunk mula dito of course kay Ryota. but is it gonna be uh, is it gonna be enough I mean para kay Aspic dito to take more kills teamwork will just back off as LPE pa rin ang mananatili dito Rob Luna 
5-8 is the scoreline and teamwork. Paunti-unting lumalamang dito sa unang 5 minutes ang ating laro. Yes, they're actually getting their power spike ngayon dito, Manjin. As we've seen, uh, sinabi natin kanina, LPE will be the one to set the tempo. Pero ngayon, speaking of tempo, they'll be going again for another objective dito. Who's gonna take it? It's gonna be the Hayabusa. Hayabusa nga talaga! Habang sabi ni Jobert! Jobert lang malakas, pero sinipa siya sa loob ng wind blows by wind blade. At nako, hindi na siya nakapag uh, slash in and dice in ng kanyang spada. Pero mukhang mapupuway pa rin si Jobert dito as he will just recall away Mountain Chaka to cancel that out. Pero magiging enough yun para kay Aspect. Nice last hit doon sa Mountain Shocker. Naging maasim ng onte si Kuya Jobert. Pero mukhang okay lang. Work pa rin na nagko-control ng laban. LPE, unti-unting bumabalik, Rob. Bumabalik sila dito. It's all because of Ryota. He was able to zone out dito yung Alice. At the same time dito yung uh, Hayabusa on the side of teamwork. Look at that. Wow. He's been able to pick up once again dito yung Alice. Hindi pa enough yung damage dito ng Alice to hold this as Meralda. Pero tutulungan siya dito ni Chu. Wow, palag-palag kay Ryota dito. But Ryota underestimating the backup potential na meron ng teamwork. Mawawala siya dito but teamwork will actually take this tower in the bottom side. Mirror movements para sa dalawang teams natin, Rob Luna. But Jake the Dog, magiging biktima ba siya ng karasan? Mukhang hindi na. Jobert and Michael Jordan trying their best to get Jake. Ang ginagawa na talaga dito ng LPE, Kuya Manjin, talagang sinasabayan na nila and they really need to do it. Look at the way of the dragon dito kay Farsa. Ang tanong, mapapatay ba? That's gonna be a connection from the veil. Wow! Pero sabi nila, Chu, meron din kami sagot dyan habang kami na sa loob ng inyo mga tore. Wow! Flowing blood para dito sa Alice para makawala. Napakagandang setup mula kay Bimo. Para bang sinet tapos in-spike dito ni Arbs. But then again, the problem was work na equalize lang din nila yung trade at mukhang makakuha pa sila ng extra bonus. Ang ganda nung pagkakasalo doon, I mean, doon sa may uh, sa Bale, kaso palog-palo rin talaga yung work eh. Pagpasok nila doon, talagang gumo all in talaga sila. And this, Alice, ito rin lapu-lapu. They could be able to withstand the damage coming from the outer turrets. Look at that shadow kill. Kailangan na lang. So ngayon, chino-choke out na naman nila dito ang LPE. This happens during game number one. Though ngayon, mas, ma mas maganda yung start ngayon ng LPE. Pero still, the tempo na dito pa rin sa team work. Look at the lead dito, Manjin. It's already 4,000 on their side. Hindi na ngayon makapag-contest dito ang LPE. And wow. look at how aggressive ngayon yung work. The cometic clouds, kung nahuli doon, yung veil posible, pinasok siya doon ng yeah. Alice. Definitely, Rob Luna. And like what you've said, the gold is in favor of work. Look at Chu right now. 7-0-2. Siya ang pinakamayaman nung nakita natin yung items kanina. Almost 1,500 gold ahead doon sa main jungler na meron ng LPE. That's probably one core item ahead, Rob Luna. And with the reset ngayon na meron ang mga, ang mga buffs, teamwork, since basag na yung mid lane, mas marami silang option para mag-invade. Kagaya ganyan! Naku! Kakasabi lang natin, Rob! Yes. It was actually a bad uh, check of, uh, I mean, a face check coming from Bimo. Uh, supposedly, dapat sinun po na yun to be able, para hindi sa sana siya na cometic lance. Pero look at that, how Chu is going on to Aspic, onto the back lanes, picking off the YSS. Meanwhile, sa bandang likod, patay na rin yung Veil. Patay na rin at mukhang nagbago na nga ang panahon. Welcome, new kids on the block. Team work, ladies and gentlemen, showing to everyone kung gaano nga ba sila kadominante. Dito sa game number two ng ating unang series, they will now take the tower in the bottom lane. At eto pa yun, Rob Luna, hindi pa sila lima. Ngayon pa lang sasama si Chu at mukhang magana pa rin sila ng gera kagaya niyan! Oh no, time and time again with the face check, with uh, the way naghihintay dito. Talagang ang ginagawa dito ng work, ano eh, hindi na nila pinapalabas dito ang LPE. Oh. Man, they've been uh, camping on the bushes and ito namang LPE, they're always taking the bait. Para ba silang na-quarantine ng 2020 ngayon mm -hmm. sa base nila, LPE right now? This is going to be a hard climb, Rob Luna, para makabalik sila sa game. And now, tignan mo, FY with, of course, the TPs, the Ricos dito sa smart possession. Team, work. Imperial Justice set up nagkukulang ngayon sa pick-up capability ang LPE, Rob. Oo. Well, we cannot blame uh, in terms of the recall kasi one of the reason nun is that they have just to zone out ngayon dito ang LPE as the Hayabusa is capable enough na para kunin doon yung Lord. They're gonna be taking it now. The first Lord of the
this match. Wow. So, in terms of comeback potential dito for the side of LTE, sobrang sobrang liit na yeah. chance nila dito, but yeah. they have a chance. Where it's gonna be all about Arvs. It's all about Jake Tado getting the. Ma uh, I mean, ma maximize niya dito yung kanyang zaman force with the AOE coming from the single face shot and all and all. Pero in terms of pickup potential, they only have Bibo. Pero ang ginagawa kasi dito ng work. Hindi sila nagtitipid dito ng Imperial Justice. Yeah. They go in all para dito sa show na to, regardless man may kunat man siya. So ngayon, mahirap na depensa to, magagaling sa LPE. Na, magiging ta mahirap nga talaga as yung Mountain Shocker ay wala na para dito sa ng LPE. Ito na yung pasok, of course, ang Blood On! At mukhang legendary na nga si Chiu dito coming in with the Quadjalo. Killing spree as well para kay FY. And it's looking like team work na ang mananalo dito sa ating laban. There you go, Falling Star Moon. Wipe out team work. Ladies and gentlemen, ang unang magwawagi para dito sa MPL Season 7 Qualifiers.